Hey, Donald Miller here, Donald Miller's Logical Services. It's Wednesday, September 7th or 8th, somewhere around there. Um, I wanted to explain about knob and tube rewires, especially if you're a homeowner looking for, like it came up on your home inspection report and you're remediating the home. There's a couple of things. One, if, if your home report has ungrounded outlets in it, most likely it's knob and tube as well. If it depends on when the house was built. Before 1930, it's knob and tube. So with the knob and tube rewire, okay, there's a couple different items you wanna clarify with the rewire. One, you wanna make sure they guarantee they're removing all three types of ungrounded conductors, okay? You have the BX wire, non-metallic cloth tube conductor, which is an extension of knob and tube, as well as the single conductor knob and tube. And you wanna make sure it's a guarantee and not a line item estimate. A line item estimate is like when they state they're rewiring three outlets, a switch, a light fixture. The problem is when they get into the home, if they find more, there's gonna be more charges. So a solid estimate would give a guarantee of remediation prior to start. Okay, so there's no back doors for additional charges. Okay, that's number one. Number two, the electrical side of the knob and tube rewire is only one portion. You have, how are they gonna cut into the house to replace the wire? As well as what type of preparation are they doing for the rewire because there's lead in the walls. So there's lead in all the paint in all these homes. So you're exposing the house to lead. So with a, a proper rewire, and this is what our white glove includes, it includes a floor protection that is not plastic and it's not drop cloths, it's ram board or it's a cardboard rolled paper that's taped together. It's not rosin paper, it's actually pressed cardboard and it can beat up water for 24 hours. That protects all your hardwood floors. Two, how are they cutting into your plaster? Plaster walls are stronger than drywall. So if you're cutting into a plaster wall, you want it repaired with plaster patching techniques, not sheets of drywall. It's two different surfaces. It'll be noticeable and it won't look as nice, okay? A plaster wall holds its beauty because of how it looks. Same thing with a plaster ceiling. When you repair a plaster ceiling, you want it to be repaired with plaster techniques so it doesn't give it that perfectly flat, no imperfection look. A, a plaster ceiling has waves in it. It's, it's a, it, a plaster ceiling takes a long time to build and they'll never be built again. Same thing with plaster walls. That technique is gone. Today's modern building techniques are drywall and it's not the same. So when we cut into plaster, we make sure we disturb as little as possible so we can bring up new wires and replace the old. The knob and tube wires are cut, abandoned, and we guarantee that they're not energized anymore. With plaster, this is a plaster repair. So we're putting lath back up and we're gonna go and we're gonna do a plaster technique. It's called Structolite, okay? It's, we're gonna put a brown coat back up, then a scratch coat, and then we'll do a skim coat on top, and that'll marry the two together. So when you paint it, you're gonna, it's gonna give that plaster look. Same thing with the smaller holes. All our holes are precision cut, so we can repair them correctly using plaster patching techniques. So when we're done doing our rewire with all the new wires, we're gonna come through, we're gonna patch everything with plaster, and then we're gonna wipe down. Our wipe down consists of every surface all has to get wiped down. Top, windows, bottom, around these guys, we'll vacuum underneath of them, we'll wipe the top of them down. We're gonna wipe down every possible surface that we can. We're gonna pull all the ram board up, and then when we're done pulling the ram board up, we'll wipe down the floors, okay? We wanna make sure with the white glove that the house is completely clean when we're 100% done. 
you have a guaranteed remediation. So all the, the knob and tube has been abandoned and rewired. You have your proper plaster tech, uh, patching techniques. So the plaster walls are all back intact. And then on top of that, we do a thorough wipe down. Around the switches, we rebuild the wall. Because this is often, people are hiding this with a switch plate, we do not. We're actually repairing around your switches with plaster, and then when this cures, and it takes about 24 to 48 hours to cure, we're gonna pull these off, and you'll have a nice straight wall, and then the switches sit on top of that again. That's how the switches originally were installed, so we're gonna bring it back to that to that level of quality, okay? With a knob and tube rewire, it is about quality. It's not just about how quickly it can get done or who you hire. You have to be real careful who's gonna do your rewire because of the level of quality that's gonna come with it. So with all of our rewires, we give a free lighting design and we also have pre-listed extra pricing. So if you want an additional outlet, it's already pre-priced. If you want an additional GFI receptacle in the bathroom, already pre-priced on the contract. Everything, so our white glove, it's a product. It comes, we don't do anything different to it. We can't take away the, the floor protection because everything fits together. Every guy has a role during that rewire. There are other items, products that can be purchased. You could do like an investor's rewire where there's no floor protection, but at that point you're exposing all the floors to lead, so they need to be sanded. Okay, so that the, that's an investor's rewire. Same thing with like when people do line item estimates, you're not giving a guarantee of remediation. You're you're just rewiring certain circuits. So if you're gonna take your house and and chop it up, you could do like a per item, but I wouldn't recommend it. Not if you're it, the best way to do it is with the house empty and get it all done at one time. Just get it done out of the way. So that's our product. Thank you for watching. God bless. Enjoy your day.